Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to AQIT Solutions. This is Ali Raza and today I'm going to tell you about progressive web applications. Uh, this is a whole new series that I'm going to start and in this series I will let you know how can we create progressive web applications and uh, what are basically progressive web applications and what are the benefits of PWAs and how can we create this. So step by step I will teach you in this, uh, to, in this particular series about uh, how to create PWAs uh, by ourselves. Okay, so let's start and have a look what we have today. So the first thing that we need to tackle is uh, there are some questions and we have to uh, understand that those questions. So when we are uh, thinking about creating a, a, an application, so we should consider in mind certain factors and these are the certain factors that on which language uh, are we creating our application uh, rather PHP or ASP or uh, C sharp or Java and there are so many other languages okay and then the next question that we uh, tackle or we think about that is uh, will the application run in all the available devices nowadays we know that there are so many devices so many different type of devices and different sizes of devices available uh, around us and how can uh, an app be compatible to all the devices that we have around us okay so that's another question that comes in the mind when we are uh, starting and uh, uh, when we think start thinking about creating an application so another question that is uh, in the mind that uh, what should be the framework and uh, where should be the app uh, will uh, published okay because we know that, uh, that if we are Android users so we uh, go to the uh, Google Play Store and then download the applications Similarly, uh, we, uh, if you are iOS users, then we'll go to the Apple Store and then download the application and then install it inside our uh, mobile devices. And similarly, if uh, there are other, other uh, frameworks too, like uh, .NET uh, framework, like uh, Laravel, like there are so many other things. So uh, we should uh, also select uh, when we are going to create uh, an application, a native application. So the framework should be required. Okay. So uh, what PWAs are for then? So PWAs gives you a very less uh, platform where you can create an application irrespective of the language, irrespective of the device and irrespective of the framework to be chosen before creating an application. So these are some of the questions uh, that PWA will address uh, in it. Okay, so next thing is, is the solution. So the solution is how can we create PW apps? Okay, so here is the thing that we that are required to create PWA applications so we need only JavaScript we need HTML and we need CSS that's it so uh, with the help of these three we can be able to create a complete application that will uh, run on the browser that will also install on mobile devices and then the icons of the uh, application will also be created uh, when we run our application first time on the mobile and then uh, we can be able to uh, create the icons on the uh, home screens of the uh, mobile devices that we are using whether it is an, I, uh, an Android device or it is an I, uh, iOS device okay so these three three things are required only for creating a PWA application let's go further the next thing that we need to discuss about this is just like a native application that is installed on a mobile device PWAs have the capability to install on home screen and it's the, it has the capability of running offline and it has the capability of sending and receiving push notifications so just like a normal native app that we create with the help of a framework and uh, we can uh, upload it on a uh, on a store uh, so that the users can get and download it so just like that we can create a PWA a web application so uh, that application will uh, initially run on the browser and then we can uh, also get the uh, way to install it on a mobile device or on the home screen of the mobile device so the user can get the same uh, look and feel and experience the user experience uh, like the native app he or she is using okay and similarly uh, let me give you an example of the uh, web uh, some some of the application that we are using nowadays let's take an example of Facebook so when we are when we are out of the network uh, but the application was uh, is still uh, in running mode and we can all we can be able to like we can be able to comment while we are offline okay so that's what the capabilities of pro progressive web applications basically when the network is uh, not available so we can the the application is running smoothly and we can do the same stuff okay and uh, the, as we are doing in the uh, online mode 
so uh, when we are offline then we can uh, then uh, pwas can store the data inside the cache and then when we can when the network uh, come again or when we are connected to an uh, online network again uh, then the background synchronization will also take place uh, automatically so uh, that's a very good approach in order to uh, pursue uh, applications like this okay so this is all about uh, progressive web applications now uh, there are some differences uh, you see and there are commonalities along uh, with the native apps and the PWAs okay so the first thing that we see here is the offline usage of course the native apps are installed on the de mobile devices so we can use them offline along with the PWA applications they are can they can also be used offline uh, they have to publish on an online store because uh, no direct user can uh, no uh, platform is available uh, to publish or market the application uh, when when we are dealing with the native apps okay but here you see it does not require an app store whether it is a iOS app store or a, a Google Play store okay so we don't need to require any app store we simply need a browser that's it so uh, can access device features uh, yes of course uh, native apps can access device features uh, the cameras the messages the galleries and the other things the sensors okay uh, but PWAs though they are running on the browser but they can access the device features too but uh, but this was not uh, the thing that we can uh, we can be able to do directly but with the help of PWA applications we can access the device features where the application is installed okay so a home screen icon is created of course when we are installing native applications home screen icons are there and P in, in, in PWAs we can uh, also get the home screen icons and the same uh, UX will be there as like the native applications it requires a specific framework to start up uh, for startup and here you see only three things are required that is HTML CSS and JavaScript okay so uh, the last thing that we need to see here is it can receive push notifications like we uh, get the notification for birthdays we get the notifications or reminders for some other things similarly in PWS we can also receive uh, notifications I hope it is clear to everyone so what things are required in order to create PW application you can see here uh, an editor you can use any editor like visual code sublime or atom or any and the three technologies that is HTML CSS and Malina JavaScript and then vanilla javascript is uh, is similar it's very similar to the javascript okay so you don't need to worry about what vanilla is so i'll let you know uh, later on in the later lectures uh, about all these three technologies how can we work with uh, these things okay now the next thing is the bootstrap the for uh, responsiveness and or the material design by google uh, that can be utilized for uh, creating the uh, application uh, in uh, for PWA okay so and a, and a modern browser like Chrome Safari Firefox so a modern browser means that you should use uh, latest browser so that uh, it can be uh, the, the PWAs are only supported in the latest browsers okay so we can also check whether the browser is supported uh, is supporting the PWAs or not okay so uh, this is all about uh, the the startup of PWAs what are PWAs and why they are uh, essential and crucial and beneficial for us and how it helps us in achieving the same US user experience and user interfaces like we are, like we achieve in the um, native applications I hope you understood what PW applications are okay so uh, that's all for today hope you have liked this video so if you don't if you haven't subscribed to me yet so please kindly subscribe to my channel and do press the bell icon as well. So thank you so much and we'll see in the next lecture that how can we start the web application of PWA or you can say the PWAs. Thank you so much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.